And I believe that uh, we're happy always because a Christian, amen, everything that happens to us are ordained by the Lord. Yeah. Whatever comes and goes, I believe uh, the Lord has permitted it to happen. And we have no worries, no fear, amen, because we trust in a God, amen, that's uh, always there, can be trusted, amen, a God that uh, created everything in this earth, including you and me. And He promised that if we, if we will abide in Him and you abide, His words abide in us, then He said, ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. That's Jesus' promise. And I believe we are here because we're living by faith. Amen. In the time of voice of Sarili natin, we're not living on our own anymore, but we live by the faith of the Son of God. Amen. So I greet you all once again in the most precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May God bless you and wherever you are watching this online uh, streaming that we have here in uh, Quezon City, Philippines. Amen. May God bless you and uh, be strengthened, be encouraged as we tackle more of God's words this afternoon. So our subject for this afternoon is the power of resiliency. Amen. I believe uh, resiliency is, uh, is about uh, uh, flexibility, adaptability endurance and uh, we will be discussing amen uh, this quality of a Christian because I believe amen without resiliency we can never never uh, run this race amen with patience so we need to uh, be resilient let's open our Bibles we'll read our scripture from Philippians 4 11 to 13 this was our topic last night I believe in our devotion we have discussed this where Oliver has uh, given us the scripture and I was inspired to continue on this afternoon to focus on the deeper uh, meaning of this verse, verses here. So let's read. Paul, Apostle Paul said, Not that I speak in respect of one, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. So whatever state you are, we are, we must be contented. Amen. That's what Paul is saying here. Yes. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Sanay ako na mawalan, sanay din ako na magkaroon. Amen. O managana. Everywhere and in all things, I am instructed. Who instructed him? The Lord. I am instructed to be full and to be hungry. So there's no difference whether you're full or hungry. The most important thing is serve the Lord. Continue. Amen. Both to abound and to suffer need. So no matter if you're filled with the goodness of the Lord or you're suffering, going through some trials, see, this should not hamper or hinder us from serving the Lord. The conclusion is on verse 13, Paul said, I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. Amen. Amen. That's the most important thing that knowing that Jesus Christ with His presence in our life, we can face anything. Yes. We can face the battle, we can face the storm, whatever come and goes. Amen. I believe Jesus will help us. Amen. He will never leave us nor forsake us. He's a very present help in times of trouble and we can rely on Him. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but His word will never pass away. Let us pray. If you have me this afternoon, I will. I want to include you in our prayer. Amen. Just raise your hands to the Lord. And probably close your eyes and feel His presence. And tell Him your needs this afternoon. Ask Him to uh, fill your, your life with goodness, with, with His presence, with His uh, mercy and His grace, with forgiveness if you've done wrong. So let's approach this throne of mercy this afternoon. Father God, O oh Lord Jesus, creator of heaven and earth, we know, Father, that you're omnipresent. You said that heaven is your throne and earth is your footstool. And uh, Lord, you are everywhere where two or three are gathered. You are there, you promised us. And so this afternoon, we know, Lord, that uh, you are present with us. Not only 
present around us, but you are in us. Because you promised that you will fill us with your Holy Spirit. We will be the temple of the Holy Ghost. And we know, Lord, that it is not us anymore living, but you living your life in us if we have become Christians and have been born again by the Holy Spirit. Help us this afternoon once again, Lord, to be worthy of the calling that you've given us. Lord, cleanse us by the washing of the water of the Word and may the blood of Jesus, Lord, come and through the Holy Spirit burn every, every uh, wickedness, iniquity, or anything, Lord, that, Lord God, that's not good in your sight from our life. And so, Father, we also invite you once again to teach us and to talk to us, Lord God, through your words that we may get, Lord God's encourage, encouragement and we may get strength, Lord God, and inspiration and revelation that a Christian life is not full of, it's not a bed of roses, Lord God, but it is a, it's a battlefield. It's not a picnic, Lord, according to the prophet. But it's uh, every day we have to wrestle against Lord spiritual wickedness in, in diverse places. And that we have to put on the whole armor of God that we may be able to triumph against the enemy. Help us, Lord, this afternoon to reinforce, Lord God, our strength through your word. That we may gather, Lord, consolation from all your prophets, all the saints that have gone before those who stood for you, Lord God, in times of trouble, in times of persecution, Lord, may we be worthy as well, that we may be able, Lord God, to stand true to your word, never to compromise, Lord God, but Lord God, to hold on to your promises and uh, get, Lord God, strength from the, the preaching of the word. Help us, Lord, and cleanse us of our shortcomings as we commit to you the needs of my brothers and sisters, wherever they are, Watching online, Lord, I pray, Lord God, na abutin po sila, Panginoon. Yes, Lord. Yakapin po sila, Panginoon, Lord. At uh, Lord God, sabihin, uh, nawa po sa amin, Lord God, anak, mahal po kayo. And we love you too, Lord God, because you first love us. And we want to re reciprocate your love and to re return, Lord, whatever way we can do by singing, by listening to your word, by testimony, Lord God. Help us, Father, this afternoon to do our part in order that your gospel will be propagated yes. around the world. Thank you, Lord. Yours be the glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And magpatuloy po tayo, mga kapatid. Let's continue with our subject of resiliency. Now, uh, let's look at the meaning of resilience or resiliency. Because I believe this is an important uh, a uh, factor for us to be able to adjust to any situation in life. You know, resiliency is uh, defined as like something that can be elastic. The first definition is the power or ability to return to the original form or position after being bent, compressed, or stretched. So, it says elasticity. So, ang Christian na daw, kailangan tayo stretchable. Amen. So, flexible. This, that's the meaning of the, of the second uh, description here. Resilience is the ability to recover readily from illness, depression, adversity, or the like. Buoyancy. So, yan po pala ang ibig sabihin, mga kapatid. Magkasakit ka man. You might go through depression, adversity, illness, Whatever uh, uh, a tragedy happening in your life, you can return to to be faithful, to be strong, amen, to be flexible. That's the synonym of resilient. So, dapat po, ganun tayo mga Kristiyano. Yeah. Hindi tayo nagpapa-apekto sa mga bagay na nangyayari sa paligid. Amen. We have the ability to return to our position as bride of Christ, as sons and daughters of God. Hindi na alis yan, yung posisyon na yan ng mga nangyayari sa palitid. That can never be changed. Because you're a son and daughter of God, even before the foundation of the world, and no circumstances, sabi nga ni Paul, nothing shall separate you from the love of God. 
not even nakedness, barren, sore, amen, poverty, persecution. So yung po ang ibig sabihin na uh, resiliency. We observe resiliency in some people who suffer handicaps, death, tragedy, and other losses, yet they refuse to give up. So resiliency is refusing to give up. Amen. On yourself and the world around you, even after misfortune. Okay? Maraming kamalasan daw na dumating. Kung iisipin natin, see, you are resilient in your life that. You, you refuse to give up. You move on. Amen. Praise God. Ito po ang more definitions of resiliency. Sabi po ito, uh, resilience is a response to tragedy or crisis. Dumadaan tayo ng crisis ngayon. Pandemic, see? We're uh, having a lot of people going to the hospital. By the way, we are praying for Brother Pastor Donnie Reagan in America. He's been tested positive. So, Brother Donnie, we will remember you in prayer. Amen. And we believe that by His stripes, you are healed. So, it is a response to tragedy or other life outreach changes that allow us to move on despite the loss. Nawalan ka ba ng pera? Nawalan ka ng mahal sa buhay? Did you lose anything? See? Loved ones, money, houses, see? Opportunities. See? We must move on according to the Bible. Praise God. Because resiliency is the quality of being able to adapt. So the word adapt, adaptability. Amen. To stressful life changes. Ano man bang bago sa buhay natin? See? Maghirap ka man o yumaman ka man, hindi dapat mag-iba ang ating pagmamahal sa Panginoon. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory yeah. to God. You can bounce back to your restful situation. Jesus said, I will give you rest. I will give you peace. No matter what happened, you still, you still have peace. You still have that rest that you trust in God that nothing shall happen. Amen. That will harm you because Jesus said, all things work together for your own good. Amen. If you love the Lord. So see, that's resiliency. See, let me clarify something. Showing re resiliency does not mean that a person is unaffected or uncaring about the life change. Hindi sinasabi na hindi ka affected or immune ka na, no? See, but resiliency is the human's heart's ability to suffer greatly and grow from it. Amen. You grow on. Amen. You don't backslide. You learn lessons. See, these are lessons, these are trials, stepping stones, ladders that you can reach a better connection and relationship with the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're not losers. We're more than conquerors. Yes. 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 Amen. A Christian is an overcomer. Kaya kailangan natin maging resilient. Amen. Maging adaptable. Maging flexible. See? Madali na mag-adjust sa anumang sitwasyon sa buhay. Yan po ang ibig sabihin dito. See? Resilience also means pressing on. Amen. The Bible tells us to press on. See, resilience is a norm for us Christians. It is the power to press on. Let me give you a, another scripture for that. Philippians 3, 13. Amen. Sabi ni Paul dito, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. Alam niyo apprehended ng tigilan? Parang ayaw na. See, hindi ako ganun, sabi niya. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Yes. Abante, hindi atras. Correct. Kailangan, tuloy-tuloy tayo. Ha? Patuloy sa paglilingkod sa Panginoon. Walang atrasan, walang iwanan. Amen. Sama-sama tayo. Amen. Na, na, naglalakbay patungo sa rapture. Ano yes. Move on. See? Press on the battle. See? Ito, sabi ni Paul, I press toward the mark of the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. So that's what we must do. Press on. See? Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yeah. 
magpatuloy ka kapatid. Huwag kang hihina-hina, lulupay-lupay-pay. Si hindi sa Kristiyano yan. Ang Kristiyano lumalaban. Fight a good fight of faith. Kahit wala nang laman ng kaldero, wala nang laman ng refrigerator. Amen. Uh, o oh, kahit wala ng refrigerator, tuloy pa rin mga kapatid. Maglingkod tayo sa Panginoon. Can we say amen? Praise yes. the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Another meaning or synonym of resilience is overcoming. Amen. Overcoming what? Hardship and temptation. See, we can read in Romans 12, verses 12, 14, and 21. Sabi rito mga kapatid, ni Apostle Paul, Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation. So kailangan pasisyoso ka. Hindi yung mainit ng ulo mo, ayaw mo na. Magko-complain ka na, magmo-murmur ka na sa Panginoon. No, you cannot question God, you cannot complain. Amen. Be patient. Patient is a virtue of a Christian. Amen. Increase my patience, O Lord. Sa Tagalog, pagiging matiisin, mapagpasensya sa mga nangyayaring uh, problema sa buhay. Verse 13, Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Huwag ka raw gaganti kahit inaalimusta ka na, kahit naninsulto ka na. See, a Christian will be persecuted. That's part of a Christian life. See? For uh, sabi ng Bible, them that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Kasama na ng buhay natin niya bilang Kristiyano. But what you must do? Shall we return evil? No. Sabi rin sa verse 21, Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Amen. Amen. Ayan na. Overcoming. Amen. You can overcome evil with good. You return good for evil. You bless them that curse you. Pray for them that persecute you. Pag sinampal ka sa kaliwa, pasampal mo pa yung kanan. Pag binato ka ng bato, batuhin mo ng tinapal. Diba? Is that Bible? Yes. yes. You can read that in the Bible. Praise the Lord. So, ganun. Mahirap talaga ang buhay kristyano. Pero yan ang sabi ni Lord. Matuto tayo magtiis at maging overcomer. Another synonym of uh, resilience is endurance. Amen. Pagiging matatag, matibay. See? Resilience is the power of endurance in the face of trials. Kailangan mo ito, kapatid. See? Huwag kang lulupalupay-pay. Basahin natin sa James 1.12. Anong sabi ni James dito? Blessed is the man that endured temptation. Natutukso ka na ba? na umayaw sa paglilingkod sa Panginoon. Natutukso ka na ba na gumawa ng masama kahit wala nang makain ang pamilya mo? So, no. Sabi rito, Blessed are you if you will endure temptation. Amen. When he is dry, he shall receive the crown of life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Which the Lord had promised to them that love him. So, endurance, mga kapatid. Yung mga Kristiyano sa Bible, most of the Christians were beheaded for Christ's sake. Most of them were fed to the lions during the dark ages. Some of them were burned at stake. See, you can you can read about the life of Joan of Arc. See, Saint Patrick. So, lahat yan, mga kapatid, in the days of the Holy Inquisition, many Christians were burned, were burned, were crucified. Amen. So, but they were enduring. They were overcomers. Amen. So, kaya pakikita natin sa 24 ng Proverbs. Ito po, maganda. Sabi nito, kahit tayo malaglag, tatayo pa rin tayo. Pitong beses kahit madapa ka. Sabi nito, for a just man fallen seven times and raised rise up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. In another, another uh, version of the Bible, it says, though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again. But the wicked stumble when calamity strikes. So saan ka dyan? Ikaw ba yung nag-stumble? O ikaw ba yung nag-rise again? See, you choose which one is for you, kapatid. So kaya kailangan natin na ano, tumayo. See, madapa ka man, mas daus-dus ka man, mag-backslide ka man, ang mahalaga, Lord, forgive me. Let me try again. Lord, just once more. Sabi ni Samson, di ba? When Samson was uh, caught by the Philistines, I believe he was blinded. He, they cut his hair. But when he grew 
And sabi ni Samson, Lord, just once more, I, I need to hold that two posts that I will, I will kill all these Philistines here, I believe. Na sabi roon, praise God, ay mas marami siyang pinatay na Philistio nung siya ay nandun sa kulungan kaysa nung nasa labas siya. See? Praise the Lord. So, there are many examples of resiliency in the Bible. So, I would like this to give you about four or five examples of how Christians were adaptable or uh, they could they could be flexible in the times of trials. Let's look at the life of Apostle Paul. Ayan, kilala nyo si Apostle Paul. Siya yung nagsulat ang mga, ano, mga episodes to the Christian uh, church. Praise God. Ito ang sabi niya. Uh, praise God. When Paul was transformed from a Pharisee to a Christian, many people, many of the Jews, hated his message. They were not happy with Paul. He was beaten, stoned, criticized, jailed, and nearly killed him many times. See, here is one of them. In 2 Corinthians, this is the testimony of Paul. How he endured, how he was resilient. See, sabi niya rito sa 24, Of the Jews, five times received I forty stripes. Biroin po. Nilati ko siya. Quarantang beses. <laughs> Praise God. By preaching the gospel. Twenty-five. Thrice I was beaten with rocks. Once I was stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck. A night and a day have I been in the deep. See, ang dami mga pangyayari sa buhay ni Paul na dapat sana ay eh, umayaw na siya. Dapat sana he could have, he could have, uh, you know, re retracted. Sana umayaw na siya. Pero anong sabi niya? Tuloy natin sa verse 26. In journey often, in perils of water, sa panganig ng tubig, sa daga. In perils of robbers, pati mga mag, mga hundap, mga magkalako. In perils by my own countrymen. In perils by the heathen, pati mga di man ng palataya. Kinokontra siya. In perils in the city, in the wilderness, in the sea, in perils among false brethren. Pati mga kapatid na mga, mga hindi uh, totoo kristyano. Mga make believers and unbelievers. Yeah. So, ang dami niyang experience, mga kapatid, na kung totoo sila ay umayaw na sana si Paul. Verse 27, In weariness and painfulness. May mga sakit-sakit din siya sa katawan, sa puso. See? In watchings open, in hunger and thirst, nagutom siya, nakuhaw siya. In fasting open, madalas siya nagpa-fasting, dahil wala na makain siguro. In cold and in nakedness. Diba nga mo? Sa panahon ng taglamig. See? Wala siyang may suot na makapal man lang. Sa 1419, halos mamatay siya, mga kapatid. Acts 14.19. He almost died. He was almost killed. Sabi nito, There came him Peter, certain Jews from Antioch, and Iconium, who persuaded the people, and having stoned Paul, drew him out of the city, kinalagkat siya pala ba sa syudad, at ang matapos siyang batuhin, supposing he had been dead. Nakakala nila patay na si Pablo. Wow, see? But Paul, amen, grew in strength still. See? Here is Paul's resiliency. Ito yung binasa natin kanina. See? So, I wouldn't be reading uh, everything, but this is our scripture a while ago. Nasabi niya, I know how to be abased and to abound. So he can adjust to any situation. Amen. He can be full and hungry. Amen. So, but the best thing that he said, I can do all these things through Christ. Kaya ko pang pagpapayang pag-iisa na hanggang sa mga nangyayang Christo na aking Panginoon at Tagapagkikas. Masasabi din po ba natin yan, mga kami? Can we say the same thing? As Paul said, can you do all things through Christ? See, not through the government. Huwag na kayo masyado mas sa gobyerno ng mga ayuda pa kung wala na anong magagawa natin. See, See umasa ka kay Kristo. Because Christ can make a way. He can make a way where there's no way. Yeah. Amen. God can open the Red Sea for Israelites. He could raise the dead. He could heal the sick. 
It could be the 5,000 out of just uh, two fishes and uh, five bread, I suppose. See? Wala rin posible sa Panginoon. Kaya kung mananatili lang tayo ka pa, hindi ka papabayaan ng Lord. Tingnan natin ang buhay ni Job. Let's look at the life of Job. Amen. What happened to Job? Praise God. In the Old Testament, we know, praise God, that Job went through a lot of hardship and trials. See? After, after losing everything, he lost his children, he lost his uh, wealth, his properties, his uh, animals, and see, Job was in great agony. He had boils in his body. See, soul and body. Yet he refused to curse the Lord or give up. Wow. Hindi niya sinumpang Diyos. Hindi niya sinisi ang Diyos. Hindi siya sumuko. Praise God. Ito ang sabi ni Job, mga kapatid. Praise God. Let me give you Job 1, 20 to 22. Then Job arose and read his mantle. Pinunit niya yung damit niya. Yung nakinawa niya. And shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped. Sumamba siya sa Panginoon. After he lost everything. And he said, Naked came out of my mother's womb and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Ang Diyos ang nabigay, ang Diyos din ang bumawi, purihin pa rin ang pangalan ng pag-aaway. See? Ganyan dapat tayo, mga kapatid. Hindi lang kristyano tayo paglinggo, o kristyano tayo na may Bible na dala-dala pagdating ng pagsubo. Pagdating ng trial, nasaan tayo, mga kapatid? That's the actual test. The trials that come in being a Christian. That's where each one of us are tested, tried, and proven. So, sabi rito, 22, in all this, Job sinned not. Hindi siya nagkasala. Nor charged God foolishly. Hindi niya sinigil ang Diyos. Amen. Praise God, mga kapatid. Hindi niya sinisi ang Panginoon. Mga tao ngayon, sinisisi pa ang Diyos eh. Kung kailan ako naging Kristiyano, kung kailan ako nasa message, saka ako nagkaganito, huwag nawa ang marinig sa bibig natin yan, mga kapatid. See, matakot tayo. See, you cannot question God. Job, amen, never complain. He said, though you, though you, you sabi niya, though you slay me, Lord, yet I will trust you. Amen. Ganon pa rin, mga kapatid. So, ano mang gawin at ipaintulog ni Lord sa atin na mangyari, masalamatan mo pa rin siya. In everything, give thanks. For that's the will of God concerning you. See, sabi ni Lord ni Satan, you can do everything to Job, but don't take his life. That life, Satan cannot take from you. He can take it away because you are God's property. No matter what he does in the flesh, even Apostle Paul had a thorn in the flesh. So, yung kanyang mata, he could not read well because of the pillar of fire when he met the pillar of fire in Damascus. So, he, it affected his eyes that he could not read well. So, he asked the Lord three times, Lord, please take this away from me. And the Lord said, my strength is sufficient. My grace, rather, is sufficient for you, Paul. For I am perfected in weakness. Your strength is perfected in weakness. When I am weak, then we are strong. Because it's the Lord that takes over us. Amen. Amen. Not your own strength, not your own ability, but we have to rely on Him. Yan ang gusto ni Lord na mangyari, mga kapatid. Rely on the Lord Jesus. So let's look at the Lord Jesus Christ. See, our Lord Himself, hallelujah, He went through a lot of trials, persecution, hallelujah. In Philippians 2, 5 to 8, ano pong sabi rito mga kapatid? Masahin natin. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Let's read some more. But made himself of no reputation. See? He made himself of no reputation. Some of us are so concerned about our reputation. But Jesus himself... See, he lost his reputation 
And he took upon him the form of a servant. Yan din ang dapat natin gawin. We must be a servant to one another. And was made in the likeness of men. And ito ang maganda sa next verse. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, our Lord himself humbled, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. So nakikita niyo mga kapatid, dinahanan ni Lord John. See? He never retracted or never ran away like Jonah from the cross. See? Because he knew that if he will not be crucified, we will all go to hell. See, he has to take our sins in the body. He had to carry your sins and mine and pay for our sins at the cross of Calvary so that you can be forgiven, can be redeemed, can be saved, and His righteousness be placed upon you and me. Ito, mababasa natin Isaiah 53. Verse 3 to 5. He is despised and rejected of man. So, you're expecting to be accepted by men. The servant is not greater than his master. So, expect that you will also be rejected by your fellow classmates, your, your schoolmates or workmates because you're Christian, you're different, uh, a new creature in Christ. So, you don't drink, you don't you know, commit sin anymore like that. So sabi rito, a man of sorrows, isang tao puno ng kalungkutan, and acquainted with grief, sanay siya, na magdusa. As we hid, as it were our faces from him, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs, and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him, streak and speaking of God, and afflicted. Dinala niya lahat ng ating kalungkutan. At sabi nito, He, but He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. Put your name in that hour. Sabi ni Brother Branham, pag namabasa mo yan, isulat ng pangalan mo kasama ka dyan. The chastisement of our, of your peace was upon Him and with His tribes we are here. Sa lahat ay ni Jesus sa mga lakay niya, pinagalit na tayo. Pinakawan na tayo. Niligtas na tayo. Niligtas na tayo. Hallelujah. We were justified. We were sanctified. We were forgiven. Amen. So, hindi ka ba ang papasalaman, kapatid, na ang Panginoon natin, Jesus Himself, suffered for you. But He was resilient. See? Sabi niya, I give myself away. Praise God. I mean, I destroyed this temple and within three days I will raise it up again. Glory to God. So it was his own will that he gave his, himself at the cross. Nobody forced him. It was the mission of Jesus. It was the Father's will that he should die as our atonement. He was the propitiation for our sin. The Bible said, see, he was made sin who knew no sin that we might become the righteousness of God in Him. So if you're in Christ, if you receive Him as your personal Savior and Lord, the Bible says there is no more condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. Wala na paghatul pa para sa iyo. Hindi ka nahatulan. Kasi si Jesus na ang hinatulan para sa iyo. Hindi ba tayo nagpapasalaman? Pwede ba natin ang pakanaan? Thank you, Jesus. Sa kabutihan niya. Amen. So, here is another scripture that, is, uh, that has struck me. Hebrews 5, 8 and 9. Sabi po rito. Though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. See, he suffered and learned obedience. So, hindi pa na tayo magsasuffer. Hindi pa na susunod. Madalas, di ba, mga bata, pag hindi masunod, pinapalo yan. See, so, you try to, you know, spank your children and they're not obeying you. Jesus suffered by obedience. Being made perfect. Wow. Because of his suffering, he was made perfect. He became the author of eternal salvation. 
unto all them that obey Him. Kung susunod din tayo sa Kanya, sabi dito, meron kang eternal life. May eternal salvation ka. But we must be willing to suffer for Him also. Are you willing to suffer for Jesus Christ? Are you willing to be persecuted? So that's the question. Bago ka maging kristyano, kailangan alamin mo muna kung ano ang mangyayari. Kaya mo ba? May persecute ka. Sirahan ka. Ito ang sabi ni Prophet. Patungkol sa bagay na yan. In uh, the exposition of the seven church ages. Sabi niya, in plain language, the very character of Jesus was perfected by suffering. So yung character pala ni Jesus, sa sobrang pagdurusa, naging maamo siya. Naging parang tupa talaga siya. Siya ang order ng Diyos. The Lamb of God. And according to Paul, He has left His church a measure of suffering that they, meaning we, do by our faith in God, by suffering for Him, would come to a place of perfection also. Para tayo mag-perfect pala, kaya lang pag-tisan mo yung mga sinasabi sa'yo ng mga kaibigan mo. Yeah. And ikaw may inom, kasi baka bakla ka eh. Kaya ayaw mo yung inom, pag-tisan niya. You must, you must suffer as well. Yeah. To partake of the suffering of Jesus. Yan, sabi niya. Why did he want this? Bakit ginusto ito ni Jesus na mangyari ko sa atin? James 1.24 Yan, binasa natin ka. Ganito yan. My brethren, counting all joy when you fall into diverse temptation, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Habang sinusubukan pala, palanang palataya natin through mga insult, scornful people, and persecution, your faith work and patience. Nagiging pasensyoso tayo. But let patience have her perfect work that she may be perfect and entire one thing nothing. Wala ka nang gusto pa mangyari, ayaw mo nang gumanti. Diba? You want nothing. But you just pray for them. You become perfect and entire. Hallelujah. You become uh, uh, holy, perfect in the sight of God. Si para ka ng tupa. Na kahit nga anong gawin mo sa isang kristyano, si hindi yan gaganti. Pag gumanti, hindi, hindi kristyano yan. Praise God. Si that's the, that's the work of the law. Sabi nung uh, mga hudyo, atut for atut and an eye for an eye. But Jesus taught us differently. Sabi niya, love your enemies. Praise God. Praise God. Pinalitan na niya. Puro na love. Di ba? The eleventh commandment is love. Di ba? You know the ten commandments. Thou shalt not, thou shalt do, thou shalt. Pero sabi ni Jesus, this is the, the greatest commandment of all is to love. Love na eh. Love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. Puro love na tayo mga kapatid. See? Amen. Hallelujah. So tuloy natin yung quote. Sabi niya rito. Why does he stand by? Bakit siya nakatayo lang sabi niya at uh, kung tayo sinusubukan, eh minsan hindi niya inaalis yung pagsubok. Nakastand by lang siya. See, the reason is in Romans 8, 17, 18. And if children, then heirs. Kung anak tayo ng Diyos, mga tagapagmana tayo. Amen? Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Kalahati ng yaman ni Kristo sa iyo. Para conjugal property. Lahat ng benefits ng husband. Amen, pati wife. Amen, ay uh, 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 tumatamasa. So, kung pareho tayo, tumatamasa, kaya sabi nito, it's so that we suffer with Him, that we may also be glorified together with Him. Amen? So, hindi ka pala mag-glorify kung hindi ka pumasa sa pagsubo. You cannot sit there with Jesus. You cannot be glorified if you won't pass the test. Kaya sinabi ni Jesus, He that overcome it will I grant to sit with me in my throne as I am seated in my Father's throne. So, sabi nito, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So, yung mga suffering natin pala, 
Kuan lang yan, sa kalimpingan lang yan, kaysa doon sa glory na ipapahayag ng Lord sa iyo. Buhay na lang yung maglalakad ka sa gintong kalsada. You walk in, in a, uh, a, a transparent goal, the street in heaven, a mansion is prepared for you in heaven by Jesus Christ. So, pero kailan na makapasada. Yeah. Para magkadiplo, maka, di ba? Sa sasulahan, gano'n na nangyari. Pag hindi ka nakapasa, wala. Wala kang diploma, wala kang toga. So, may crowning ang mga Kristiyano. Di ba? Pagdating natin doon sa, sa after the rapture, then that's the recognition day. The roll call of your name. O, ito pa, itong maganda rito. Sabi rito, matindi dito eh. Sabi ni Mervana, Unless we suffer with Him, we cannot reign with Him. Wow! See, if you're not willing to suffer, you cannot reign with Christ. You have to suffer to reign. Yeah. See? Di ba? We're suffering. We're being outcast. From among, you know, people. Sabi niyo, nasira na kayo ng bait. Kayo mga puro lang ng Biblia. Mga kulto kayo, holy roller. Lahat na lang ng masasamang bagay. Tinatawag sa atin. See? So you have to suffer to reign. The reason for this is that character simply is never made without suffering. So, tinan mo yung mga bata, kahit na yung aso, di ba? Pag hindi mo pinagalitan, pinalo ang aso, hindi matututo eh. See, ganun din ang tao, di ba? We human beings need to be sometimes whipped by our earthly fathers. Sinisunturot pa nga eh, di ba? Yung iba, ano pa, yung uh, uh, ratan. See, iba-iba. Yung nanay naman, walis tingting. O yung mayroon, kinukurot pa sa singit. Di ba? So, makikita nyo may iba-ibang pumamaraan, but... See, character is developed by disciplining your children. And that's the way God does to, to us as well. Ito pa, meron pa kasunod. See? Character is a victory. Not again. See? So you were not kind and patient when you were born. You learned it by suffering. Nung napahiya ka, naging humble ka na. Nung ikaw ay nasaktan, di, natuto ka ng magpatawan. Di, natuto ka ng mag-umunawa. So we learn a lot by suffering. So character is a victory. Maraming kang pinagtagumpayan na nag-sama-sama nag, uh, yun para mabuo yung character of Christ sa buhay. So yan ang sabi dito ni Barbara. A man without character cannot train. Because power apart from character is satanic. So, pag wala ka palang karakter at gusto mong maminuno, mm -hmm. si Satanas gagamitin ka para abusuhin mo yung ibang tao, di ba? Si, di ba yan? Madalas ginagamit ang power, ang influence, sama-sama, kasi walang karakter. So, power with character is fit to rule. Kaya nga magkahari tayo sa millennium. We shall be priests and kings with Christ because we have developed our Christ-like character by the things that we have suffered. So if you're suffering today, that's part of God's training to you. That's good news. Amen. Minumold ka. Amen. God is working on you. Diba? From glory to glory, He's changing me. Amen. Ganun ginagawa. Pati nga si Pato sabi niya, I have to die daily. Amen. So kaya yung character natin, ay kailangan kasahin. Amen. See? And since He wants us to share even His throne on the same basis that He overcame and set down in His Father's throne, then we have to overcome to sit with Him. So, kailangan tayo overcomers. Di pwede. Ayaw mo na. Gusto mo na tumigil. See? Di pwede yan sa Kristiyano. Kristiyano laging abante. Amen. You are a Christian so always positive, never negative. Oh, ito maganda. Consolation. And a little temporary suffering, hindi naman pala pangabang buhay yan, nilipas din yan, yung pinagdadaanan mo eh. See? The little temporary suffering which we go through now is not worthy to be compared to the tremendous glory that will be revealed in us when He comes. Hallelujah. Oh, what treasures are laid up for those who are willing to enter into His kingdom 
through much tribulation. Si, huwag kang matakot kapatid. Kasi ang Diyos kasama mo. He will never leave you. He never promised to remove the trial, but He promised to go with you, with you through the trial. Amen. Amen. And you remember the, the story of the, the footprints in the sand? Yeah. That, that story? That there was a man, uh, he had a vision when he went to heaven, the Lord showed him his life. When he was on earth, he showed two sets of footprints on the, on the uh, what we call on the seaside. And Jesus said, I my footprint and, my, and your footprints are there. So we were walking together throughout the life. But then they came to a point when that man saw that he was ha having a lot of trouble, problems in that point of his life. And he, he only saw one set of footprint. And he told the Lord, Lord, why? Why in this portion of my life that when I needed you the most and you left me? Jesus said, you're wrong. That was not your footprint. That you see, that was my footprints and I was carrying you during those times. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! That's His promise. I will never leave you nor forsake you until the end of the world. So, kaya, in closing, a believer in Christ must therefore be resilient. Back to our topic, amen. Resiliency. See, kailangan tayo adjustable, kailangan tayo flexible, mga kapatid. See, hindi yung, uh, yung gusto natin na mangyari. Eh kung hindi gusto ni Lord John. Yeah. See? Sabi ni Jesus, let your will be done. Not my will, but thy will be done. Yes. So, dapat ganun din ang ating, ang ating uh, attitude. So, we, we can read here in 2 Corinthians 4, 8 to 11. As a Christian, to be resilient is to go through everything that comes to our life. Ito sabi ni Paul, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Praise the Lord. Kahit pala tayo natutrobol, pero hindi tayo natidistress. Kahit pala tayo perplexed, ano perplexed? Tuliro. See, confused. But you don't despair. Hindi ka namimighati. Si persecuted but not forsaken. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. Cast down but not destroyed. Yes. Yan yes. ang buhay kristyano mga kapatid. So, ganoon ang mangyayari sa atin. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. Don't you know that you are the flesh of Jesus Christ today? You are the Word made flesh again. When you receive Jesus, He is the Word, you become the Word for today. And you are the representative of Jesus Christ. The ambassador, the billboard. You are God's advertising agent. Sabi nga ng prophet, di ba? You are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. So kaya makikita natin mga kapatid, na yan po ang dapat natin gawin. See, how can you be resilient? That's the question. The answer is to have faith. The key to resiliency is faith in the Lord. Yan po ang sabi sa Psalms 37, 23, 26. Magtatapos na tayo. Sabi rito, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighted in his way. So yung daraanan mo pala, si Lord ang nag-aayos. Siya ang gumag gumagabay sa iyo upang huwag kang matisot kung merong bato dyan o may lubang, ilalayo pa niya dyan. He's ordering your way yes. for you. Hindi mo lang alam, maaaring matag matagal ka lang namatay, nalunod, nasa kasaan, na baril. Diba? Pero buhay ka pa hanggang na yun. Why? Because the Lord is ordering your way. Yeah. Amen. Protecting you. Giving you safety. Because He loves you, kapatid. Mahal ka ng Panginoon. 
24. Though he fall, magapa ka man, he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him with his right hand. Amen. Magapa ka man, at tinig sa'yo ng ibang tao, ayan, at nagagagapa na, nahulog na. Hindi na makakabago niya. Ano ka? Si Lord ang magbabangon sa tao niya. Kapag yes. hindi sa'yo mananagot niya, kill Lord. Ang ating pananagutan sa Panginoon. Sabi nga, who shall uh, lay charge against God's elect? It is God that justify it. Right. Amen. So, kaya makikita natin, kanya-kanya tayong lakad, mga kapatid. Si kanya-kanya tayong pananagutan. So, don't judge one another, sabi ng Bible. But, sabi ng Biblia ay, mag-unawaan tayo. Forbearing one another. Forgiving one another. Eto, sabi ni Paul, di ba? Ah, sabi ni, ni David, I have been young and now I am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Amen. Yeah. See, wala pa lang nangyong si David na manilipos o kulubing kristyano. See, bakit? May Diyos kayo yeah. na nagpapakain, nagsusuplay ng lahat ng pangangailangan mo. Maubusan ka man, gagamit si Lord. Gunamit niya yung uwak, Elijah. A crow, pwede Elijah. So, he could use anybody, anything just to prove to you that he is God. He is Jehovah, China. He will supply all your needs according to riches and glory. Amen? Last 26, he is ever merciful. Yan ang napakaganda. If you are a son or daughter of God, the Lord the mercy of the Lord endure forever for you. He and lended and his seed is blessed. Ang, ang binhi ng Diyos ay pinagpala. Yes, amen. Diba? Joseph. Joseph was a son of prosperity. Yes. Mga kapatid nga yan, naingit sa kanya eh. Diba? Sabi ni Joseph, nakita ko, sa aking pananginip, lahat kayo lumulukod sa, lumulukod sa harapan ko. Galit na galit yung mga kapatid niya. Nagyabang mo naman ah. Sobra ka ah. Praise God. So, makikita natin na uh, ang mga anak ng Diyos pinagpala ng Panginoon. Amen. Si, sa ano man sila talagay, pagpapalaan sila. Amen. Pati yung lugar na pinuntahan nila, binibless ni Lord. Amen. Amen. Kasi yung presence mo, nagbibigay ng kanyon, ng aura, ng atmosphere of God's presence sa mga kapitbahay mo, sa trabaho mo, na po promote ka kagad, kaya maraming naiingit, di ba? Si kay kinainitan talaga yung mga anak ng Diyos pero okay lang yun mamatay na sila sa inkit basta ikaw pinagpala ka ng Panginoon praise the Lord so glory to God nothing can change that you are elected you are predestinated you were chosen amen so doon sila magcomplain sa Panginoon see only believe kung ikaw ay anak ng Diyos pareho lang tayo pagpapalain ka rin ng Panginoon amen so finally, I would like to read Proverbs. Ito ang admonition ng Bible patungkol sa resiliency. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. At magtatapos tayo. Ayan. Trust in the Lord. Magtiwala tayo sa Panginoon. Ano man ang sitwasyon. Whatever circumstance you're going through, whatever uh, trials, suffering. See, sabi ko, trust in the Lord with all time. Walang reservation. See, kailang bubo, iwala mo. And lead not unto thy own understanding. Huwag kang umasa sa sarili mo, kaisipan, pangunawa, pagulay-bulay. See, my thoughts are not your thoughts, the Lord said, and your ways are not my ways. Or my ways are not your ways. So, God has, has a, a better way for you. See, Kung mayroon kang inisip na maganda, mas maganda yung plano ng Diyos para sa iyo. Praise God. Minsan, inaalis ka niya sa isang trabaho. God takes you away from one job and you feel, you feel depressed, frustrated. But God is preparing you for a better job, a higher salary. So, you don't know. Di ba? God's ways are not our ways. But we can rest assured that He is, he is always looking for your good. Amen. Sabi nga ni ba sa Jeremiah, 
a good end or uh, ang plano ng Diyos ay hindi para mapasama ka kundi bigyan ka ng, uh, ng mabuti hantungan. Amen. Last but not the least, in all thy ways acknowledge Him. Ano yun mga kapatid? Ibig sabihin sa lahat ng bagay, pasalamatan mo siya, Lord, thank you, I acknowledge you, Lord, that you've done this for me. You are the one who, who promoted me, you're the one who uh, protected me from this coronavirus. See? And He shall direct thy paths. Amen. Yan ang pala ang sikreto. Pagtitiwala sa Panginoon, paglagak ng iyong mga kabigatan sa Kanya, at pasalamatan mo siya, pilalanin mo siya na yung uh, Savior and Lord at wala kang magiging problema. Siya ang maglalagay sa iyo sa tamang landas. Do you love the Lord? Amen. Amen. God bless you, mga kapatid. Amen. The power of resiliency. Amen. Maging relax ka na. Sabi nga ni Lord, be still and know that I am God. Amen. Still love, relax. Amen. Patuloy lang. Just commit to Him everything. Ano man ang mangyari? See, like a martin to its box. Diba? Nababangit ni Barbara na man. Doon ka rin babalik. Galing ka sa Diyos, babalik ka rin sa Diyos. Amen. So tayo lahat ay tumayo sa mga kapatid namin.